In the previous video, you've seen that we made a edge finder. You'll see now the block here that we've got. You can see here we're trying to do aluminium extrusion. We normally probe metal. Now you could probe this surface because it's conductive, but here this surface is anodized, so there's no contact available. So obviously this is, this is acting like a piece of wood or an, any non-conductive material. So all we want to do is find this edge, which is um, fairly straightforward. So you can see all we've done in the machine right now, we've got a probe, a very simple probe, which we will go over how you can make that and use that yourself in, in a future video. And obviously what we've now got is the earth here that's connected to the input and then here we're now putting on the actual finder here you can see we've got an earth connection and this is the machined edge we made and this of course is reference to the underneath which is so that the center of this corresponds to the block so what we'll do is we'll just do, move the z-axis down so it can be inside the hole doesn't have to be too precise anywhere like that will do and we've got a little program which we will show eventually now as long as this probe is circular and and quite concentric then you'll get a very accurate reading obviously if uh, not you need to actually just make it round what we've done now is we're now going to probe it's asking me right now to put the probe into the spindle which we've already got and then it's asking me to double check that uh, we've got a good connection which we've already done but I'll do it again so basically we're going to just touch that and we'll see that the probe with on our Mac 3 we've got a little light that comes on to tell us that the probe is touching so now what we'll do is we'll just say okay and you can now see it moving now what we've done is we've gone you know reasonably close to the center We don't need to know the diameter of the of the probe because we're doing the center and it, as long as it's, I say it's a it's circular it should be no problem at all and that's the end of it so what we'll do is just shove it up to safe Z and now you actually know where you are for the edge finder which if you come down slowly hard to see really but we are at zero zero and we can then start machining. Thank you for watching.